Ah, uh, it's my birthday. Hello. Two. Seven. I'm elderly. If you guys know me, I never ask for anything on my birthday. But I have a very generous f family and friends, so usually I get something from them. But this year, I'm actually going to ask for something for the first time ever. For my birthday, I'm asking you to register to vote. It's super easy. Just go to vote.gov, choose your state, and you can probably just register online. And if you can't, it will tell you what you have to do, and you, you probably just have to mail something in. Why are you asking us to register so early to vote, Greg? One, primaries are important, especially for people like me in Massachusetts, where our vote in a presidential election means nothing due to the electoral electoral college so the primary is the one time i feel like i'm actually doing something with my vote at least when it comes to the presidential election the democrats right now have over 10 people running in the primary and the republicans have four so you have plenty of option the second reason i'm telling you to register at this super early time over a year before the presidential election is because if you want to vote in the primary in certain states, you have to be registered six months in advance. That six months rule applies in the New York primary. So six months before the New York primary is actually in a couple weeks. So you should just register to vote now. One more thing when you're registering to vote, if you're voting in one of these red states, not like red republican but on this map that i'm showing on the video you have to be registered for the party whose primary you're going to vote in so you can't be a registered independent to vote in the democratic per party primary in new york or you can't be a registered republican in oregon to vote in the democratic primary or you can't be a registered Democrat or Independent in Oregon to vote in the Republican primary. Yeah, it's confusing, but just register to vote for the party you plan on voting for in the primary if you live in one of these red states. Even if you don't see yourself as a Democrat or Republican, just do it. I know it's annoying. Okay, good. You're registered to vote. Now, what is my second birthday wish? So, before you vote, maybe the night before, maybe a few weeks before, go to vote411.org backslash ballot. All you have to do is enter your zip code and you'll get a custom personalized ballot for all the things you'll be voting on. So obviously like president, senate, if you have any senate seats up, house congressional race, state senate, state house, you can even vote for things like state's secretary of state and like state treasurer. And the cool thing about this personalized ballot thing is you'll be able to see who's running, who's running unopposed. You'll see every candidate on the ballot. But the best part is the League of Women Voters, who runs the vote411.org website, asks the candidates five questions and the candidates get to respond in... 500 characters or something or maybe it's more than that it might be like a thousand characters it's not enough to give a huge adequate detailed response but you'll just get a feel for the candidate maybe it's kind of like the the beauty pageants when they ask the woman despite the political division in this country a 2018 survey found that a majority of americans say democracy is working well in the united states do you think our current political system is working or not working and why and by the way you have 20 seconds to answer this very detailed and complex question even though the answers are super short they are actually very insightful i think the best part about it is you don't get any spin from three CNN panelists who haven't worked a day in their life and are talking about working class issues and pretending they know what's going on, or usually ignoring working class issues. I digress. You just get the candidate's words on this personalized ballot, vote411.org website. 
Some of these candidates, all you have to do is let them talk for a paragraph and they dig their own grave. But you'll very likely find at least one candidate who is actually taking some of your issues seriously at least some of the time. So maybe they're someone to vote for. I have a little pessimist in me sometimes. But even I, as this huge pessimist, am telling you to go vote. So that should tell you something. So to recap, register to vote now, vote.gov. Second, vote in the primary and the general election. Third, before you vote, look at your personalized ballot on vote411.org backslash ballot, which is run by the nonpartisan League of Women Voters. Fourth, tell everyone you know to vote. Share this video, do whatever. Make sure people know you have to be registered in advance in most states. And in some states, you have to be registered with the party whose primary you're voting in. And seriously, if you live in New York, register today because you only have like two weeks because New York is absurd. And I don't say that just because I'm from Massachusetts and the Yankees suck. I say that because, well, you guys already know if you're from New York. Go register. And that's my video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and happy birthday to me. Oh, and if you want to actually get me something, I don't know, like beer is fine. <laughs>